another quick video to show you how to set your uh, HB8 arms in the field uh, what you'd need to do is because the washers might not be on center all the time take a piece of zip tie or a piece of wire and just put your thumb nail against the frame and touch the screw there as you can see you're adjusting the screw now you're gonna flip your HB8 around your quad and <clears throat> the same distance it's gonna to touch with your thumbnail not moved now you know despite the look of this washer being offset a bit it won't deceive you because you can check with your measurement on your zip tie now you can go do that on the back as well you can just you could use a ruler as well if you want but uh, you know, just finding a stick, a really flat stick that is straight would work. Putting my thumbnail against the frame just until I touch the nut there, the moving nut. I'm going to flip it around. It makes it easier. Put your thumbnail against there and it's just touching the nut. So that's how you check where your position is. So don't go by the washers so much as the actual distance from the side which is equal on each plate it's a mirror image so you'll be able to check with a certainty that your distance of this bolt from the side edge here with calipers you could do it and this edge should be exact then you could set your arms at any distance just by measuring the distance from the side to the bolt and there you go that's your tip on how you uh, set your arms up whichever way you want and right now I have it almost in an H quad at the front and it flies really nicely and uh, we'll do some more experimenting uh, I'll put some 20 uh, centimeter arms on it perhaps but we do have that thing to build so we're gonna have to get to that the next few days